Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, let's talk about my last video. Let's talk about the reactions to my last video. And most importantly, let's talk about what has happened since I uploaded that very video. Quick reminder, one guy, one person, yours truly, uploads a video to his YouTube channel. Sure, a strongly opinionated video, admittedly. However, still, one guy uploading a random video to YouTube. What happens next? Three countries go crazy. I end up on Bulgarian news, I end up on Greek news, even on Greek television. And then, out of a sudden, I'm on the phone with Bulgarian politicians. Yes, this escalated quickly, you could say. Something like this can only happen on the Balkan. Let's be completely honest here, guys. Something like this can never happen anywhere else but on the Balkan. It just shows how much passion our Balkan brothers and sisters do have for their position, for their stance, for their beliefs. No matter if it is the Bulgarians, no matter if it is the Greeks or the Serbs or the Northern Macedonian people. We are passionate and we are ready to attack. Thousands and thousands of years of war on the Balkan are not enough. Now, all of a sudden, we transmute it and take it to the keyboards. We take it to the comment section of YouTube, where the war continues. All I wanted is to share my perspective on this channel. Hence the channel's name, Bobby's Perspective. I didn't want to start a next Balkan war. If anything, I wanted to unite the people. If anything, it was a message of love, a message of truth. As a Christian Orthodox, I have nothing else in mind but unification of the people and to spread truth and love. In Christian Orthodoxy, we say that God is truth. We do quote Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. The truth shall set you free. For us Christian Orthodox, this is very clear. So now, I was speaking about the research that I have done. The responses from the Greek and from the Bulgarian side were overwhelmingly positive. But even from the North Macedonian side, I got positive feedback and I heard of people that share the same opinion. People that came to realize the same truth, that we are essentially one and the same people divided by the powers that be, divided by foreign political interest, divide and conquer, just as described in The Art of War. Of course, I got some hate comments as well. Hello, dear haters. That is nothing new to me. For all the new subscribers on this channel, let me give you a quick recap. Guys, I was a vegan for four years straight. If you are a vegan, you're basically in a secret club, a secret society, a little cult. And in that little cult, you obey the authorities. We have vegan doctors, we have vegan scientists, and of course, we have vegan politicians, even vegan bodybuilders and other vegan sportsmen that spread that propaganda. During veganism, you're not allowed to listen to any outside sources. You're not allowed to listen to any bad, bad meat eater. That is illegal. You're being called an apostate, a traitor. And if you dare to leave the cult, you will be ridiculed. You will be debunked, right? You will be discredited. You will be a loony. This is how it works with cults. Now, what has happened after my last video? Of course, there was a hateful response from a little minority within North Macedonia. But this is not a North Macedonian response. This is not a nationalistic response. This is a human response. It is human 
nature if you have a strong bias and all of a sudden a new opinion goes against your bias we face cognitive dissonance how can it be that the facts do not go hand in hand with my belief systems i cannot align those facts with my personal emotional beliefs i do feel like this it does not matter what kind of rational proof you might offer we were able to observe the same phenomena with Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins is one of the most famous atheists, so he does not believe in God. A Christian church father asked Richard what kind of proof he would need in order to understand that there is God. Richard Dawkins, being the critical thinker that he is, said, I would need to see God. So therefore, the Christian church father asked him, what if God would appear in front of you then? Would you believe it? So Richard answered, yes, uh, probably. However, proceeded to correct himself and say, you know what? Actually, it could be an alien as well. It could be so far evolved that I couldn't tell the difference. So now, why am I telling you this story, guys? Very simple. Because it does not matter how much proof you offer somebody that is so skeptical just for the sake of being skeptical. If you discard all the evidence just to cling onto your emotional beliefs, there is no proof in the world that can tell you you are wrong. You will always be right. Your bias will always stay true. However, let me clarify, it doesn't even matter if I am right or not. As I said, I did my objective research, so can you. This video is not about it. It's not about if I share the truth. This channel is called My Perspective. It is about the suppression of free speech. I got contacted by so many people that told me they flagged my video. They want to delete my videos. So again, nothing new to me coming out of veganism. Many of my videos have been deleted. Many of my videos have been flagged, have been reported to the authorities. What you are creating is a new dictatorship, a new communism. This is what is being created on the internet where you cannot live if somebody has a different opinion than yourself. This is truly disgraceful. You should be ashamed of yourself, that you're not strong enough in your own conviction, that you cannot sit here, watch this video and say, you know what, this guy talks shit and I am still Macedonian. He didn't change anything about my perspective. But no, you're so weak, you're so insecure that you have to flag and report my video as if one person can take anything away from you. If you are so certain, so convinced, you should laugh at this video. You should be able to just click on another video and forget all about it. But as we see, there was a strong emotional response. So strong that people even said that I am not from Northern Macedonia. I must be a Greek spy or a Bulgarian trader from Germany. Dobro, ajde, sakate da pozborim makedonski da me razberete? Ja sum od Makedonija. Majka mi, tatko mi sa od Makedonija. Da, sporu vam makedonski. Was this enough or still not? You cannot accept another opinion. But this says more about you than it says about me. Now, let me clarify my stance. First and foremost, legally speaking, since the 1940s, yes, Macedonia can be its own country. Nobody tries to take your country away. Okay? Realize that. Let me repeat it. Nobody can take your country away. I talk to the Bulgarian politicians, everybody agrees. Nobody will take your country away. It is not about it. Neither the Greeks nor the Bulgarians will take your country away. The borders won't move. However, there are three problems within Macedonian politics. 
The first one being the claim that there is a Macedonian diaspora, Macedonian refugees in Bulgaria that are being suppressed. That couldn't be further from the truth. We all know that those refugees fleed the war and returned to Bulgaria. That is that. The second one being that Macedonian is an own language, not a dialect. Again, if we are basing ourselves on Kirill and Metody, we all do have to agree that it is a Bulgarian dialect and not an own language. Simple as that. The last one being the historical falsification. I talked about it already. Tsar Samuel being the Bulgarian, signing documents as the Bulgarian. Let me ask you a question. Who was one of the biggest adversaries of Tsar Samuel? It was Basil II, or Basil II, however you pronounce it. The Greek newspaper said, I have a very thick German accent. So, Entschuldigung bitte. Anyways, Basil II, how did he call himself? He called himself the Bulgarian Slayer because he was fighting Samuel. So if we don't believe that Samuel was Bulgarian because he didn't know what he was, why did Basil call himself the Bulgarian Slayer? Anyways, guys, all the links are in the description box under this video. You can check out the sources. We have the Encyclopedia Britannica. We have Macedonian sources even. We do have, of course, Greek and Bulgarian sources. Even random sources such as Wikipedia are listed down below. You can check them out objectively. Try to stay as objective as possible and come to your own conclusions. As I said, this video is not here to convince you that you are Bulgarian. If you identify as a Macedonian, guess what? That is your right. Since the 40s, we do have that country. But we cannot base the identification of Macedonia on a falsification of facts. If you want to call yourself Macedonian, more power to you. Do what you will. However, we cannot change Tsar Asen into a Macedonian. We cannot change Alexander the Great and make him North Macedonian Slavic. We cannot change Godse Delchev. We cannot change those facts. Historical accuracy is one of the most important things that we have as people. We are here because of our forefathers. We cannot falsify the history motivated by nothing more than emotion. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. I hope this clarifies it. I'm sure it won't for many, many people. So if you want to continue the fight, do so in the comment section. However, stay polite, stay as objective as you can. No racist comments, please. Otherwise, I will have to delete them. This is how it goes. We don't want to get deplatformed here for hate speech. This is my perspective. All right, but this is it. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.